Okay, in the last episode we were still trapped inside the labyrinth. Although we are not as much trapped as we can always get away. But I am considering myself trapped since I'm not sure how to uh, get through this stupid labyrinth. Or maze, as it's uh, called in English. I also uh, muse on the fact that... Uh Ooh, there's that drumming again. How? Okay, we'll have to uh, take him out there. Maybe toss a slime in there. <coughs> and add some bleeding to it. Uh, how am I failing due to my equilibrium? I don't have any chance to fail here. I am arcanely infallible. Well, not arcane, I'm uh, infallible. To some extent. Um, Hydra, you do know you were supposed to uh, use something else there. Oh well, now I've got to use my waddles of life. I don't know what hotkey uh, 27 is, but apparently it is uh, the key I'm supposed to use in order to, to get this. The Thunder Slice. Now that sounds like an amazing sword. Not gonna use it because I'm more of a Mindstar person now. As a summoner, I'm, I'm not as much of a Mindstar user in uh, as, for example, a warrior. Okay. Can I summon a dragon there? Nice. Dodge the product, uh, the, not the protocol, the uh, projectile, that was the word I'm looking for. Lightning this, lightning this again. It has carbon spikes, those must be very conductive. Although I suppose I'm probably one of the very few people who uh, ponder the <laughs> conductive uh, ability of their armor in the middle of a dungeon. Okay, meditation. Kind of saves the day again. Not always, though. At least it keeps me at low equilibrium, and I suppose I could maintain the uh, meditation for now. I mean, I'm doing less damage, but I seem to be doing well enough. Let's also pick up this stuff here. The blaze bringers ash longbow. Now, weirdly enough, I never find this, uh, that many bows and arrows and stuff when I play an archer. Which is another fun class, although it, it's a bit... I find it a bit more difficult to play. I don't know why. I guess it's because they don't have... Well, they, they are s somewhat relying on uh, keeping the enemy away. But they can't... Um, they they have to, to basically get out of harm's way instead of uh, basically just getting something else into harm's way instead. What's that? Can't see it. Okay, lightning. Lightning away. Oh, I can't do another. Need to recharge my yield skin armor. Okay, I'm so glad I don't have to carry all this stuff. Nature's eyes. Ooh, there's another dredgling. That looks like a wand. Okay, it's just a wand. Nothing uh, fancy. Although wands themselves are somewhat fancy. You could argue that. Okay, put that there and that here. How? Am I poisoned? No. Just slow it down. Where's my. That's my rune. Did I split as well? Goodness. Uh, 
Okay, we're exploring again. Trying to get the full level out of this. Okay, that was one of those uh, chests that do spawn a lot on you. Okay, we didn't get rid of the effect I actually wanted to get rid of, but we can deal with that. Okay, now let's uh, put this in. Being disarmed sucks. Well, it doesn't if you're like a Shaolin monk or something, who doesn't need weapons, because he is one, but aside of that, I suppose it would suck. Then again, being disarmed actually has... Uh, sometimes it has its advantages. And <laughs> the fun thing about martial arts is that there are a lot of uh, points when you actually want to... Uh, when when you want to get rid of your weapon, when, when you basically need to get rid of your weapon in order to have a better chance. And if you're not trained in martial arts, you're not likely to drop your weapon, because if you have it, you, you want to use the bloody thing. That's what you brought it for, right? But yeah, sometimes it is a good idea to, to dump it. I'm not going to tell you when, I suppose you can figure it out on your own. But yeah, it's something you need to, or you, you should not forget about. And maybe I should put some more points into nature's eyes, because those, those guys don't seem to notice me just yet. Well, now they are. I control this. Okay, this seems to have a very long cooldown. That's I guess that's why they didn't use it too often. How? Uh, okay, let's control myself again. Although we seem to be doing okay. I wouldn't want to die during the uh, summon control though, because I'm not sure that would help me very far. Dying is hardly ever conducive to your victory after all. And there's a dire wolf down here. Let's uh, sort that out. Okay. Jelly! Okay, we're meditating again. I need a more durable Drake. This seems to run out of uh, summoning time too quick for me. I also have to pick another hole to jump down. I'll take that one. Jump! Okay, we got so much stuff out of this. I forgot where we were money-wise, but this was... Yeah, we gained a lot of this. Okay. I hope this is the final level of this place, because I really want to get out of this labyrinth. We've been spending way too much time in here. Also, what is doing all this lightning? Is that is that me or am I getting hit with? I oh know it's the dremlings that do the lightning. Stop meditating, please. Okay, let's go for that chest. Turtle shield chest. Now, okay, that's that's doable. Pick up that dagger. Okay, is that the, the thing, the, the jelly that hits us that hard? That's actually a uh, answer in turn. Okay, he has icy skin, and I suppose he's doing. Oh well, we're bleeding. Well, you know what that means. Uh, also poison, so it's time for... Time for... Where's my stupid ability here? 
passive talents, summon control. We don't need that. I need. What was my talent? I wanted to use the walls of life. And maybe also. Uh, summon the rhyme bark. What's that? You corrode. Okay. Um. Hey, Spiller. Oh, that's one fancy helm. If only we had this uh, armor training. Level 1 would actually get us access to all the helmets and all the other stuff. It was sort of projection. Those are not bad. Projection is a very fun ability that basically gives you the ability to attack a long range with a sword. So you can imagine that is pretty neat. How? Oop, the horned horror. Well, shit. Um, silenced, pinned. Uh, okay, that's 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 bad. We found the horned horror. Well, it it found us, and uh, I really don't like that. So there you see, it puts things on cooldown. It does a hell lot of damage. And I want to get out. I want to get out. I want to get away from this. Um, maybe do this. Uh, put a hound between me and it. Oh, I'm still pinned in days and all that stuff. How? This is really annoying. But on the bright side, we might be able to take care of the Horned Horror this time. Although it's it's gonna be a tough fight. So let's pit it against the Minotaur, and uh, I suppose I'll send in a spider for good measure. And a flame spiller. Can I put it there? Yes. Great. The hound still has five turns, so let's fix the hound. Okay, I'm still dazed, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on to my uh, my infusion. Because I think I might need it for other things very soon. Is that anywhere near uh, okay, it's poisoned, it's brain locked, it's what's that combo thing doing? Okay, inspect creature. Combo. In the middle of a combo chain it has a two combo chain. Okay, I suppose that's uh, something I wanted. I think that's the, the uh, brawler, uh, brawler um, class. I would like to get into that, too. There's so many things I want to try, and I still have to unlock them, which is the, the thing that... No, you don't cloak there. You also don't get closer to me. Please don't get closer to me. Get away. No, get away. Have some rhyme bark. There you go. Now if I could... Uh, there is also a skill that lets you detonate your summons. That's also pretty in, uh, pretty amazing. I'd probably want to try that as well. Uh, right now I would use that to detonate this turtle. Because it's kind of in the way. Kind of totally in the way. Ah, don't do that. Um, I'm still trapped here, so let's... Ow! Um, okay. Let me go. I'm unable to move, I'm unable to move, I'm unable to move. Uh, this thing is almost dead, so... Uh, I have... Uh, all stats increased. Um, yeah, let's actually heal myself with that. Then lightning it. Can I move away? Yes. Goody, this might be our first time if we kill the Horned Horror. So, uh, there we go. Yay us. 
Okay, well, what is that? A fine mesh gauntlet. We've killed the horned horror. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> it was so hard. Okay, Stormbringer's Gauntlets. This fine pair of mesh Roritan gauntlets is covered with glyphs of power that spark with Asia energy. Metal is supple and light so as to not interfere with spell casting. When and where these gauntlets were forged is a mystery, but odds are the crafter knew a thing or two about magic. I suppose so. Let's see what they're doing for us. Uh, the Stormbringer's Gauntlets. Come here. Uh, can be used to chain lightning. Well, hell yeah. That would actually be worth uh, learning armor training for. Chain Lightning, as I already mentioned, is the spell I like in most occasions. And I'm not sure if I want to stay here. I mean, there could be another artifact sitting around here. But right now, I only really want to get out of this. Let's actually spend the remaining two minutes of this video uh, in the labyrinth, and then we'll never go back here again. If I can help it. Uh, this looks kind of weird. Okay. Yeah, this, this uh, battle is actually quite intense. Like that really almost got me that uh, that horn horror, and it's it's at times like that when you really have to to think about how you use your resources, what you have available, which skills you can use, and and how you can use them in order to prevent getting killed. In my case, it really helped to have this rune, because it... And it... We were lucky, because the rune kinda took away this, uh, the uh, debuffs we wanted to, uh, to, to get to see go away. Yeah. So if I hadn't had that, we would have probably used up our extra life there. But for now, we're doing good. And I'm surprised to see that myself, but we are doing okay. How? Shouldn't go into that, uh, those places without being completely aware of, of what is there waiting for me. Okay, put that there. Ow! What is that? Stop doing that, you jerk. Um, let's hit that. Stop meditating. Okay, this, and I wish you could see where the, uh, uh you, you could see what your summons see. If they see at all, I mean, I'm not sure if Jelly has some sort of uh, sensory organs to actually see things, but do you get my point? Another red jelly to go around. And there's a countdown, so uh, we are out of here. Finally, I don't know how many episodes I've spent in this stupid labyrinth. I'm glad I didn't do it like one dungeon per episode, because this would have taken ages. And since you know by now that uh, this all also boils down to uploading time... What are you? You're a quasit. Okay. Never, never heard of those. Actually, I did. It's that, uh, part of the uh, Dungeons & Dragons universe as well. One of the more annoying parts, because I think they have like all sorts of damage resistance. And I hate damage resistance. Well, I, I like it if I have it, but I really hate damage resistance if uh, the enemy has it. And I basically can't touch them. Okay, shields up. And uh, maybe a summon up as well. That we just sapped. Okay, we can't sap them all. We'll do this then. Stop the meditation. Heal yourself. 
zap this. Okay, we're doing okay. We are doing okay. What about the heal there? Um, and also use my Rod of Recall. Because I have the damn thing. Ow. Don't burn me, dragon. Kill that. May just touch myself. Okay, four more turns until I can uh, use my uh, wonderful skill of uh, lightning again. There is a lot of stuff going around here. Okay. I mean, this is potentially... Actually, do I want to recall when those chests are sitting there tempting me? Uh, let's... No, let's... Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, I want to cancel recalling. I want to get those chests. This is where greed gets the better of me. Did I fail that? Yeah. Touch myself. Stop meditation. I'm unable to move, so that. And in we go. Okay, we might want to summon this first. Oh well. Yeah, we need we need to take care of that before I do anything else. Because that's what you really need to do. If if you're going to get into danger, sort out everything else that could kill you first. Anything down there? Not anymore. Okay. Um, have a hound. Where did those come from? Didn't I just clear that out? Oh well. Quick heal. Now we can hopefully do this. Shield and open. Yep, we are surrounded. However, it won't last too long, and we should be fine. I mean, there, there's nothing extremely strong here, so that is not a big deal. Okay, we got a bunch of stuff. And once our skills have cooled down, which they mostly have... Oh, there's another letter. We want that as well. Shield and open. Nothing except the rune. Well, to be honest, the teleportation rune isn't that great. How to be a necromancer. Nice. I think that actually allows it to become a necromancer. It's like Dwarf Fortress in that regard. Once you have this, uh, this kind of lore found, you can become a necromancer. But I think you have to do something first. That's actually something I might need to look up. Level up, level up. We can squeeze one more level out of this place, and that would be absolutely lovely to have. Surprise Minotaur! Uh, maybe put this in here. Seize the meditation. I think stopping to meditate doesn't cost you a turn, so... Uh, it's actually well worth it. Stop meditating. I should actually uh, probably... How? I suppose I might want to... Uh, 
stop this uh, auto use of meditation. In retrospect, it doesn't seem to be that smart an idea. And there comes a level up. Level 15, with the last and oh, probably the last enemy on this very floor. So. We will learn Healing Nexus just to have that. Oh, I don't. Alright, I don't gain generic points for level 15. Uh, you gain two class points instead, which is nice. Uh, I want two. One point in cunning, two points in strength, actually one point in strength will do, and one in willpower. <coughs> one more strength and I can learn armor training, which will then let me use all the other stuff. Uh, let me use this wonderful skill that I ordered as one of the gloves I picked up. Okay, uh, do I want to learn this, or do I want to keep the golem around, or the minotaur? I'm not sure. Totally not sure about this. I'm never going to. Um, unlikely to ever level those two up because I don't use them that often. The turtle, yes, because it has this chance to uh, uh, force enemies to attack it instead of uh, something instead of like me or something uh, more precious. But yeah, that's that's about it. The spider, I hardly ever use. It's it's more of a thing I use if I still have a free uh, summon slot and or I, I want to pin something down. But that's like a short time thing, and I never needed more than that. M more than those seven turns that the spider stays around anyway. Okay, nature cycle. I think that's the. Uh, nope. Grand arrival. Is that here? Oh, yeah, that's detonation. So, yeah, that's actually worth it. Uh huh. That might actually be, uh, make the, the turtle and so more worthwhile to summon, but anyway. Uh, where do I want to put my final point in? I think I'll give it to the golem. Okay. There we go. Now let's get the hell out of here. Uh, those little things here are only accessible if you have uh, either a, a um, pickaxe or something like the uh, I mean I do have a pickaxe I think yeah uh, a pickaxe or there is a skill that the uh, one of the crop that uh, the doombringer has that basically allows him to, to turn into a, a ghost and, and walk through walls that's a way to access those things as well and there's also sometimes a hidden area in the uh, ruins of Corpool that also require you to have this in order to get there or to dig your way in there but it takes a long time to do that so we got out of the maze, and it was, I'm not going to say amazing, it was surprising that we survived. And with that we actually sorted out most of what I wanted to do in this episode. <coughs> Next time we might go into the... Um, we'll not explore that, Carol. I might go into... Oh my! As you approached death, you saw a huge dark cloud o over the small town. When you entered, you were greeted by an army of air elementals slaughtering the population. So now we can actually... Uh, can we see that from here? No. So death is under attack now, so we might go and deal with that. Uh, we also might go and um, clear out the lake in the old forest. Because that's something I've never done personally. However, we'll decide next time. Bye.